Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Plants, Crotchet, Cooking and more. And today I'm going to share a North Indian recipe with you. The delicious rich curry, mixed vegetable curry. Yes, this is best for any special occasion. So let's get on with the recipe. You heat a curry and add oil into it. I've used the vegetable oil, sunflower oil. You can use any other oil. First, we will add the ginger and green chilies into it. The exact quantities are mentioned in the ingredients list towards the end of the video. So you can check that out later. Right now, you see the video. When you lightly saute it for some time, and you see that there is slight change in the color of the green chilies, you add in the sliced onions. Start stirring this as well till you see that it has become a little soft. Next goes in the tomatoes. This too is sliced. You can cut it into small pieces as well. Add in a little bit of salt so that the tomatoes cook faster. Stir fry it for some time and then cover it till it turns mushy. The main reason is for it to turn mushy. That is why we cover it. Give it a stir for some time and then Switch off the flame and keep it aside for it to cool completely. While that cools, let's get on to the other preparation. First, we'll grind some cashew nuts. This is to be dry. Don't add water into it. Once this is ground, we'll add in the onion tomato which has cooled down. You add that into it and then you grind it again. You can add a little water into it for the better grinding of all these ingredients. So here the paste is ready and now let's get on to the same karai in which we had fried the onions and tomatoes. Into it we'll add oil again and on a high flame we'll let it heat up and then add the cumin seeds for tempering. When the cumin seeds will start popping we'll add the diced carrots. Please lower the flame right now and then we will add the diced potatoes. We add these two vegetables first because they take a longer time to cook compared to the other vegetables. We will fry this for some time. Next goes in the beans. Now vegetables, uh, it is totally up to you what you want to add. Here add you the frozen peas so I did not add it now if you are using fresh peas you add it right now after the beans stir fry this add the cabbage if you have cauliflower, cut it into small florets and add the cauliflower here. Cauliflower, paneer, these are the things which can be added which I did not add here because I did not have it at home. Let it cook for 2 minutes on a low flame by covering it and then later you again increase the flame and fry it again and then you add the frozen peas. If you use fresh peas, remember to put it straight after you add the beans. Fry this again and then finally you add the prepared paste. Stir it up well so that this paste coats all the vegetables well. 
now this uh, paste the onions and tomatoes had already been fried earlier so you need not fry it too much you just give it a stir so that it coats now time to add in the spices first we'll add the turmeric powder also known as haldi powder then the red chili powder the coriander powder and then the kashmiri red chili powder this is just for the color finally the salt mix it and then you add the garam masala powder give all this a good stir fry it for some time then finally you add the capsicum add some hot water into it not too much and then cover and cook it for 2 minutes on a medium flame finally we will add in the curd beaten curd you can add a little bit of that gravy itself and make that curd into a smooth consistency and then add you can add fresh cream if you want a richer taste but if you want it the lighter side you can add the curd Finally check to see if the carrots and potatoes are done also see if the seasoning if required you add some salt switch off the flame cover it and let it stand for some time so that the flavor seep in and here you are it is just ready to be served the delicious mixed vegetable curry you can serve it with rumali roti fulka paratha naan my father used to take us outside when you were small and uh, i used to have always this mixed vegetable with naan childhood memories So do give it a try and let us know if you like this recipe and thank you for watching and a kind request to all of you please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel this is the ingredients list you can have a look at it and follow it so till we meet again in the next video it is bye bye from our side